Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to look at thermal images from slingshots. And uh, first you can see me as an image from a thermal camera. Okay, this is the camera. It's a very expensive thermal camera made from Gen Optics. I rented this over the weekend, it cost about 200 euros for, do, for doing that. And um, actually, this camera doesn't record light, it records temperature. It has a resolution of probably 50,000 pixels, and uh, otherwise it works much like a video camera. This is just that um, it records heat. So you have like a viewfinder, just like a normal camera. And if I hold my hand in front of it, you can see that it's recording the thermal differences. So why am I doing this? Well, because I want to explain how rubber works. You see that rubber is a different, as a difference to steel springs, rubber actually stores the energy that I invest by drawing the band out in heat. So it gets hot, it gets hot when you draw it out. And when you release, it cools down very quickly. This is a very interesting effect that I want to look at with the thermal camera. So what I'm doing is I hold the rubber in my hands and then I draw it out and you can see that it's getting warmer. And if I release it, you see that it's getting very, very cold. Actually colder than the environment. Again, draw out, warm, release, cold. Okay, now I'm using a tapered rubber band. As you see, it's much wider on one side and much more narrow on the other side. And that will be the pouch side and that will be the fork side. Let's see what happens um, when we record this with a the thermal camera. Okay, so you see, it's even when before I draw it. Now I'm stretching it. Now can you see that it's much warmer at the tapered side? And if I release it, see it's getting really cold. So what happens is when you draw the slingshot out, your energy that you invest is converted into heat. And when you release it, this heat is converted into kinetic energy of the bullet. Now, which me, what means is that if you draw it out, it starts to cool because the air around it cools it down. And when that happens, you lose power. That's why the longer you hold out a rubber band, the weaker it gets because it loses the heat. Now, an interesting side effect of that is that if you do that, if you draw it out and hold and wait until it's really uh, as cold as the air, and then you release it, then this piece gets a lot colder than the air in the environment. This means you can, in theory, build a fridge or an air condition with rubber. <laughs> okay, to show you what happens when you use a real slingshot, I've been digging out my trusted super wide slingshot again, because I can use a very wide full strip of zero band for the purpose. And you will see when I draw out that the tapered part will be much hotter than the untapered part. So I will draw just like this, full butterfly, so that you can see what's going on. Okay, now is there a way to win back that lost heat energy that was converted into kinetic energy into uh, heat energy again? Yes. So we take a lead ball for this. So here are two 19 millimeter lead balls. So now I'm taking one of the balls and I will shoot it against the stone. So it deforms, and then let's see how the temperature reacts. So you see I flattened the lead ball, of course. I shot it three times against the stone. Well, what happened is that it heated up during that. So the kinetic energy was retransformed into heat energy. And the circle is full. Okay, what do we learn from that? Well, quite easy. If you want full power, don't hesitate. What you gotta do is, you gotta draw out and shoot. Just like this. Don't hesitate. <laughs> well, that was it for today. I hope that you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye.